Right. You know that feeling, right? Like when you step inside from that like scorching summer heat and your AC just hits you with that perfect blast of cool air? Oh, yeah. That's the best. It's like a lifesaver. <sighs> so today we're going to uh, dive deep into AC maintenance. Nice. Learn how to keep that sweet relief flowing for years to come. Love it. We'll figure out, you know, what you can do yourself. Yeah. And when it's probably a little better to call in like a pro. Right. It's like being a superhero for your yeah. own home. You know, saving the day and D your wallet with a little know-how. Okay, so before we even, like, think about picking up a screwdriver. Yeah. What is the most important thing we got to remember? Oh, absolutely. I'm guessing it's something about not, you know. You got to, safety. Yeah. Safety first, always. Before you even, like, touch your AC unit. Mm hmm Make sure you cut the power completely. Okay. That means like flipping the switch at the, the thermostat and the circuit breaker. Gotcha. We're talking about serious electrical shocks, right. not just a little zap. Yeah, we want to stay cool, not get cooked. Exactly. All right. So with safety locked in, yeah. let's head outside to that uh, <laughs> often forgotten workhorse, yeah. the outdoor unit. Ah, yes, the condenser. It's out there braving the elements all year. Totally. Yeah, battling everything from falling leaves to curious squirrels. Oh, yeah. They get in there? Oh, yeah. It needs a little TLC. <laughs> so what's the first step in giving it some love? Think of it like this. Mm -hmm. Your condenser needs to breathe. Okay. Those metal fins you see. Yeah. Crucial for releasing heat. Uh -huh. But if they're clogged up with debris, mm -hmm. your AC's got to work harder. Oh, I see. And that means higher energy bills for you. Right. So first things first, clear away any obstructions. Okay. Then give those fins a gentle rinse with a garden hose. All right. Now, key point here, avoid high pressure. Okay. Those fins are delicate. They... they can bend easily. Yeah. And that actually reduces their efficiency. So don't blast them? No, yeah. no blasting. All right. Now, I've heard pros use something called a fin comb. Oh, yeah. Is that for like some hardcore fin pampering? It is. A fin comb is a specialized tool uh -huh. for straightening bent fins. And it's a lot trickier than it sounds. Oh, really? Yeah. It requires a trained eye to assess the damage and a steady hand to avoid causing more harm than good. Yeah, you don't want to make it worse. Exactly. Um, That's why fin straightening is best left to the experts. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to something I think uh, we can all handle, the right. air filter. Yes. This seems pretty straightforward, right? Absolutely. And it's one of the most impactful things you can do really? for your AC's health. Think of the filter like your AC's lungs. Okay. Protecting the system from dust, dirt, and other airborne particles. Makes sense. A clean filter equals better airflow and cleaner air for you to breathe. Right. So are disposable filters better than reusable ones, or is it like the other way around? They both have pros and cons. Right. Really disposable filters. They're convenient. Just swap them out, yeah. you know, every one to three months. Peace. Reusable filters. Yeah. They're eco-friendly, but they do require regular cleaning. All right. Whichever you choose, the key is consistency. Okay. I highly recommend setting a recurring calendar reminder to make sure you're staying on top of it. That's a great tip. I need to do that myself. <laughs> okay, now what about those mysterious evaporator coils? Uh-oh. I've heard whispers about these. Ugh. Are those a DIY no-go zone? This is where things get a bit more complex. The evaporator coils, they're responsible for absorbing heat okay. from the air inside your home, mm -hmm. but cleaning them is a multi-step process. Oh, no. Yeah, you'd need to, like, carefully remove the coil, yep. take it outside, uh -huh. give it a thorough cleaning, all while avoiding any damage. Yeah. And trust me, those coils are sensitive. Sounds like a recipe for disaster if you don't know what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Improper cleaning can actually damage the coils and lead to expensive repairs. Right. Which kind of defeats the purpose yeah. of DIY maintenance. Duly noted. Yeah. But there's still one more area where we can flex our DIY muscles. Yes, there is. The drain line. You got it. This is a task where you can really feel like you're making a difference. Good. Over time, the drain line, which carries condensation away from your AC unit, can get clogged mm -hmm. with algae, mold, and other gunk. Eesh. Yeah. And this can lead to water backups, oh, unpleasant odors, oh. and even damage to your unit or your home. Yikes. That sounds like a recipe for a really bad day. Yes, it does. So how do we prevent that nightmare scenario? 
A wet dry vac is your best friend here. Oh, okay. Simply use it to suck out any blockages in the drain line. Gotcha. Then pour a solution of vinegar and water down the line. Okay. To help prevent future clogs. That's surprisingly simple. It is. So it seems like we can actually keep our ACs running smoothly mm. with some basic care. Yes. And knowing when to call in the pros yes. is a big part of that. This has been super helpful. Any final thoughts for our listeners before we wrap up? Here's something to think about. Your AC system is like this finely tuned machine yeah. with all these interconnected parts. Mm -hmm. And even seemingly small issues like a clogged drain line yeah. can have like ripple effects throughout right. the whole system, eventually leading to bigger problems. Oh, interesting. So the next time you tackle some DIY maintenance, remember, you're not just cleaning a filter or rinsing some fins. Mm -hmm. You're taking care of this entire ecosystem right. that keeps your home cool and comfortable. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Well, thanks for all the great info. Of course. Happy to help. This has been another deep dive. Dive deep. See you next time. Sounds good.